This is the second video for the 7-1-D lesson. So here are the graphs accurately graphed. We don't need to be able to do this aside from graphing a horizontal line. Maybe you got stumped by this. It's pretty common that when written in function notation or maybe not even in function notation that we forget that y equals six is actually a horizontal line even though the y-axis is vertical. Um, and from this, although we don't know all of these functions yet, um, we need to figure out if something is a function and if it is a linear function. Um, in fact, separately, all of these pass the vertical line test. If you went back or if you graphed these in a separate Desmos um, graphing calculator, you would see the green graph passes the vertical line test, the red graph passes the vertical line test, the orange one and the blue one. Um, and so what we now need to focus on is determining, well, they're functions, but are they linear? Well, first off, an easy way to check if something is linear is just looking at the graph. Is it one straight line? And the only one that meets that requirement is the black one. Um, and another way to determine if something is linear is that the line can be written in one of our two forms, slope intercept form or standard form. Primarily slope intercept, unless it's a vertical line, which technically could only be written in standard. Um, and so this one was our only linear and these were nonlinear. And we know that just based on the equation form. So now we have two ways of determining if something is a line. Um, and we have our graph, we have our equation. Um, we kind of did a similar thing with proportional, but this is a different question. This is, is it a linear function? And then the uh, other way is tables, and this is really where we're going to focus more time and energy. And we're going to do what we did previously, which was the first difference. We're going to do this little margin work. We're also going to do it for our x. They didn't do it here, but it does go up by 1, so it's kind of easy. And we see this one has a 2 over 1 change in y over change in x or rise over run. Right? The change in y is our rise, and this is our run. Um, this one does not have a constant first difference, um, although it is a function. Um, and so we can't assume anymore that our tables are actually linear. We really need to go all the way to the bottom and we need to do the plus symbol there um, to really analyze these. And I'll do that in just a second to show a couple of tables. Um, and so actually these tables, if you analyze them, the only one that would pass that requirement is the only linear function that we have, which was this one. And the other ones um, do not have a constant first difference. The change in y over change in x does not stay the same. It is changing. And um, this is a slide I'll let you read. It's kind of cool. Um, but we're going to look at this example. Um, and this example has two, four, six, eight different tables. So I'll pull it up on mine just so I can show you doing the constant first difference work. If you need to see this again, we did this in modules two and three. And we'll try to figure out which of these are linear. I'm not going to do all of them for you. I'd like you to try some of them. Uh, if you watch one of these and you think you got it, by all means, feel free to pause the video or stop it. So I would go like this, and I notice that all of these go up by one. They could go up and down and all over. This one uh, goes up by five, up by five, and up by five. So I can say that actually this one does have a slope of five over one and it is constant. So this is a linear function, right? Um, most of these are probably functions because there are not repeated inputs. Oh, actually here's one that isn't. And then the other part of this is, is it a linear function? So let's actually, I already accidentally did this, but let's look at G. So this one goes up by zero, up by zero, up by zero. This one goes up by five, up by five, up by five. So this is five over zero. Um, it does stay constant, um, but it has an undefined slope. Um, so it is linear. This is the line x equals five, but it isn't a function. So that's a trick question. Sadly, I just did probably the most fun one out of this for you. Um, let's go back and look at B. Um, so B goes... And you can probably start to even just look at these and see them. This one goes up by one. Uh, I can already tell this is fishy, right? Up by four, up by eight, and up by 16. So that isn't a linear function, although it probably it is a function. 
um, without a doubt, based on those table of values. And I'm just going to do that for all of these. I'm looking for a constant first difference up by 0 0.2, 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 and up by 0 0.2. So I could say that this is has a constant first difference or slope or m or rate of change or rise over run or change in y over change in x or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 of 1. So it is a linear function. So I just gave away four of the answers. You have four other ones to try. A is a linear function. B is not. C is. And G is an evil question um, that it is actually linear, but it isn't a function.